little simple song says, I will lift it up in your name. I am higher. I will lift it up in your name. I am higher. Great, great Jesus. You're wonderful. You are wonderful. I will lift up your name. I will lift up your name.
Understand what I went through on this week. Yes, God. And I have the time to tell you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What I've dealt with, the warfare that I've been through. But I thank God that I'm able to walk in here and testify and say, God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because you didn't have to do it. Thank you, Jesus. As the apostle comes, I need everybody on their feet. If we can give you glory, our Father. So everybody can get it.
to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think according, according to the power that worketh in you. I believe he's going to do just what he said. Somebody's on the brink of a miracle. And I want you to keep believing God. It's got to get worse before it gets better. But still in the midst of it, I still believe him. He's getting ready to do something. I really believe, Stan, that we're in an open season. Yes, Lord. Where he can do the impossible. The impossible is still possible. And he's going to do. Judge of a whole. He said, I just showed you a watch this. I just showed you a, a preview of what I'm about to do. I thought I heard the Lord say, He said, Tell him, I just showed them a preview. That miracle was something and what's coming behind that is greater. I'm in a great season. Oh, I'm in a great season. Something coming behind this. Everybody don't believe But something great. And you know what You want to look at your hands and say, don't you feel it? Something great. That's why the world's saying That's why you've been going through 
got the victory today. you might have a life. that come in this room. We think about it. Lord, I thank you. I got survivors of cancer, and the COVID, suicide, depression, all kinds of people in this room. Come on here. Family issues, relationship issues. But we all came for one with one mind, Lord, do it. I wish I had somebody just shout, Lord, do it. Not a bunch of words. Lord, do it. That's what we want him to do. Lord, do it. I didn't come to ask for much. Lord, do it. Three words. Lord, do it. to do it. That what you ask him to do. He's gonna, I'm sorry. He's gonna do it.
talk to a couple more. I want you to tell them these words. Hold on. Help us on the way. Careful that it try to overtake us, Carissa. I'm telling you, 
The weights of the world and life are so strong now. Can you remember back in the day? Now we looking back, Pac-Man said, I remember when. I remember when we didn't have masks. I remember when we could go and go on vacations and do certain things and have barbecues and Thanksgiving dinner with our relatives and sit there and and and, and, and be together. Now we gotta be social distance, even with vaccines. Folks now are getting the vaccine and still catching corona. It's only to prove a point. That's not gonna keep you. The eternal God said, I'm still trying to show you. Man's medicine can never be failure. But in my healing, there is no failure. I think I'll choose healing over the medicine. I want God to heal us and keep us covered. I wish you just look on anybody around you and they may not understand. And if they don't respond, you might be around a wrong person. Tell them, I choose the blood. Oh! I choose the blood that to my heart was the blood of fire. Whoa. Lower God to his name. Bless you. In my, in my morning prayer this morning, keep playing something for me, son. In my morning prayer this morning, Ella Janel, I told the Lord, I said, I don't. I want to be a place just to hang out. I don't want my sanctuary to be that type of place. I need to be a safe place. A safe place. So that folks can recover. So that folks can be healed. There's a healing. Can I tell you something? There's a healing that's about to take place for some of you that you didn't tell nobody that what you're going through. You're too ashamed to discuss what you need God to do. Come on in the Bohosha. Me as a prophet of the Lord, he said, stay in a safe place and watch the healing come. Y'all didn't hear me? I said, stay in a safe place and watch the healing come. The Lord wants to show us something in this hour. Yes, he does. Watch this. There's many people that will talk about, oh, we almost out of it. Mm -mm. Don't you be tricked, children. We're not almost out of it. We haven't even begun to see the results of it. But thank God, even through a pandemic, y'all must be honest, you really didn't feel it. You got stimulus checks and you kept eating. You just didn't like to do what you wanted to do. You wasn't, you wasn't free to move around. As, see, you never appreciate your freedom until you couldn't do it. I never, I never realized how, how much a pleasure it is just to be able to go in the car and go in the supermarket and go in the Walmart and just get what you got to get until I could not do it. You're almost afraid, got ready to go anywhere to a gas station. We wearing gloves to pump gas. I got to say, man. Oh, maybe some of y'all didn't do it, but I did. I put gloves on my hand. I don't know who was touching it before me. I wanted to be in a safe. I said, Lord, I don't want to. I don't want to catch this. He's preserved me. Amen. Amen. Not saying the amen that I could not catch it. I can be just as vulnerable as anybody else. But that Lord, even if I catch it, I need you to bring me through. Come on, I'm a, let's make a deal, God. Even if anybody catch it, Lord, bring them through. Bring me through it. Don't let me die in this. I want. How do you know he can do that? I'm not trying to start nothing, Daniel. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to start nothing. How do you know God can do it? He said, many are the afflictions. I'm going to shut up. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. What? Don't y'all stop. There's help after the comma. What the Lord? Shall deliver us out of some of them, three parts of them, half of them. I think they're worse than all of them. Tell somebody around you, I'm coming out of all of this. Hey, 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 come, come, come on. All right, let's come on.
Financial committee, come on, let's come on, let's let's move. Cause we're coming out of all of this. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what a miracle look like in just a minute. Show you what blessed look like in just a minute. Yeah, don't you do it! You're gonna be a walking billboard. I'm a miracle. This is a very interesting book. It's a very interesting book. When you think about the book of Rebecca. Um, it is because in the book of Rebecca, um, that is where you find the nation, look at this, of Judah. The nation of Judah, the southern kingdom. Um, the Bible shows us here that Judah is in a very difficult place. Have you ever been in a difficult place? Some of us are there now. Where decisions have to be made. Judah, who is um, being the nation that God loves, is also known to be a nation. Um, it's a tajan of praise. Here in the text, though, we find out that God has a problem with the praisers. Oh, I ain't got no help now. God is having a problem with the praisers. Here in the text, when we first look at this, you have to look. Um, it looks like Judah has turned her affection from God. People are turning in this hour when it has nothing to do with the pandemic. They want to blame it on the pandemic, but you've already been having mixed feelings. You already didn't want to come to church. You already didn't want to serve God. So now, this pandemic has just made it easier for you to do what you already wanted to do. They have turned their affections from God and now Judah has found themselves running after idol gods. Good Lord. People in this hour are running after different things but not running after God. They're running, they run after form and fashion. They want to be famous. They're glory snatchers. They want the glory for themselves so they want to give the glory back to God. They want the fame for themselves so they want to give the glory back to God. They want to be popular. But I'm living to make him popular. Whatever I do, I want to make God look good. I wish I had somebody in here would help me in here. Whatever I do at this hour, I want to make sure God looks good. Um, so their appetites and their hunger is not towards Jehovah God. Um, but it is after and going towards worshiping idol gods. You got to be careful in this hour because you can make many things idol. Yes, 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 yes. You can make um, relationships yes. idols. Yes. Anything that you worship more than God. Don't get ready to get quiet on me, I say. It becomes an idol. If you worship your car. Come on, here. You try to keep that car clean, but you won't keep your soul clean. You worried about how, how your friend, your boo, or whoever feels, but you ain't worried about how God feels. God's saying, I got a problem with you praises. You want to praise God, but your heart is not towards me. You have turned your affection to something else, even in a pandemic. You have to be careful what you put before. It's very easy, but Jerry, very easy, very easy, very easy, mother, to put something before God. And you don't even notice it until you're in it. Sometimes they'll make you make decisions, daughter. They want you to make a decision. Um, if you love me, they throw that if you love me card. If you can, if you want this relationship to work. First of all, it's a relationship, it ain't a marriage. There's a difference in a relationship and a marriage. Now in your marriage, you gotta understand. Uh -oh. But we ain't married. And you 
got all these demands and putting it before me. I should be at church and you got me out here to the movie house. Y'all quiet. Why y'all quiet? You got me. I know it's Sunday. You wanna, and they used to have it Sunday or fun day or whatever. This new spirit done got across. When I grew up, we didn't have no fun day on no Sunday. We were caught in the house of God. But there's a new wave that's coming through. Y'all are quiet now. The way they like to go to brunches and go to Sunday on fun day. Don't want to go to the house of God. Talk about I need to know what happened to Saturday. What happened to Friday? Couldn't do nothing then. Don't quiet. Because you don't already have fun day on Saturday. And now you want to take another extra day. It's quiet. You don't like it. God has a problem What you put something before him. Y'all quiet, but I'm going to keep preaching. This new generation, you don't understand the importance of being in God's house. That's why you're not accountable. That's why you don't want leadership. Because leadership make you accountable. That's why you don't want a position. Because positions and titles should make you accountable. I'm trying to figure out how you got a position and you're not accountable. There's no way you should have any position, any title, and you're not accountable. How are you preaching all over the world and have no leader? How are you on an out camp as a Zoom platform? You should have got permission from the leader, from your shepherd. Oh, you don't have a shepherd. Well, this is an hour where they feel like it's okay. And God has a problem. I hear too much talking and not enough amen. I feel a distraction. Because you don't want me to, y'all done did all that dancing. I need you to pay attention. He got a problem with the praisers. You praise God all service, but when the word of God comes, you don't like it. You're in your phone. I'm giving you permission. When you see folks in the phone, say, hey, hey, pay attention. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hey, pay attention. My leader is preaching. Y'all quiet. This word may save your life because all it takes is one word to snatch you out. And you'd have missed the word because you didn't pay attention. He has a problem, Uncle Beth, with the praisers, Jason. Not the praisers. You got an issue with the praisers? Y'all quick to say, well, it ain't Bible, but y'all said it. Um, when praises go up, blessings come down. I don't, I don't know about that. It sounds good. It's not biblical. The L.A. say nothing. And some of y'all can even say that a praise saved your life. Well, if a praise saved your life, what did God die for? Excuse me, Jesus. What did Jesus die for if a praise saved your life? A praise never saved my life. Jesus saved my life. And you need to make it known. A praise don't save your life. A praise sustains you. Anybody can praise him. Y'all not going to like my talk today. He said, let everything that have breath, you are created to praise him. And now God has a problem with the thing he created and doing what it's supposed to. So, God is upset with Judah. I need to let you know that um, God is a God of mercy. Yes, he is. I understand that. I agree. He is, I, I thank him. He's a God of mercy, but we must understand it, and we understand that his mercy endure forever. We all agree with that, but we must also understand that God's patience can wear out. When he gets tired, I think that's what, he, what, what has happened to uh, the world. I got tired. Got tired of you playing in my face. God got tired of uh, the church being a place now where you just come yeah. to meet up. Yeah. No real 
oil. No real deliverance. We become so, you know, uh, commercial that we don't leave room for the Holy Ghost to come in. I think he had a problem with it. And that's why I'm the best I think. He says, listen, I got to reset my church. Because if I don't reset my church, I'm going to have to apologize to Solomon Gamal. I'm going to have to because there was a lot of mess going on there too. But I destroyed them. He says, if I don't reset them, that's when mercy comes in. The mercy of God come in because he said, listen, I don't want to kill them. I just want to reset them. So, 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 so we understand that we don't, his, his patience will wear out. We can see it here in the text. Come on, sir. That God's patience will wear out for Judah. So now God begins to speak to the prophet Habakkuk. Yeah. Yeah. I love God's word. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's why I like studying. He starts to talk, Frederick, to Habakkuk, the prophet. He says to Habakkuk, Judah has turned her back on me. My people, the people that I love. The people I keep making ways for. The people I keep bringing out. The ones that I fed. The ones I made ways with. Are y'all hearing me? The ones I provided for. The ones I gave stimuluses to. and The ones I healed their bodies. And the ones I made a way put protection around them. Even when they had corona, I made sure they still came off it. Some didn't get on ventilators. Some didn't make it to hospitals. Even if they did win, amen, they still, amen, came out all right. I have a problem with the people I made ways for. So we, we go, we, 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 we go to chapter one. I know I started for chapter two. A good preacher will show you to come up to it. Becca, look at this. God begins to speak to Becca and says, I'm mad at them and I'm going to punish them. So, in other words, I'm going to punish the praisers because they have turned their back on me. God tells Habakkuk that um, I'm going to use the Babylonians, whom we call the Cherubims. Yeah. We're going, to, uh, we're going to use these old uh, Chaldeans. Mm -hmm. We're going to use them use them as a tool mm -hmm. to correct the righteous. Wait a minute, Ivy If we look at this, look at this. God uses Judah's enemy. The very ones who hate Judah. A wake up call. Isn't that something? Yeah. These Chaldeans yeah. were very powerful people. They were a power, very powerful group of people. But they were powerful, but there was also a group that were very wicked. Yeah. Have you ever seen somebody that's powerful but still wicked? Yeah. Anointed but still wicked. Yeah. Gifted, y'all quiet but still wicked. Because when you're wicked, it's got to be in your heart. You're doing this, but you got a wicked heart. You plot against your very own people that you worship with. You plot against your family. You plot against folks that have helped you out when you didn't even have a home. This and they let you sleep on their kitchen floor, bathroom, or wherever you slept. Thank God you had a roof. Watch this. God says, I'm upset. I'm going to make you stay home. Some of you didn't never cook. You cook it. You cooked in that pandemic. You couldn't go nowhere. You had nothing else to do but clean. You had to clean. You might have messed up meatloaf. Still, you thought it was done. It was brown on the outside. 
outside, but the inside was just as pink. You know how to fry chicken? I seen parts of my house that I didn't even know I had. I don't even know what, where, this part, where this room come from. Where this part of the house? I, you know what it means to sit down and regroup. We have been so busy with life that we forgot real morals. Teach them how to do it. Taught me how to rake the yard. They taught us how to cut grass. Y'all don't have grass too much up here. I'm from the country. We, we, we cut grass. I don't care if you got allergies, you're gonna cut that grass. I had an attitude. My mom, grandma said, go right back. Cause you miss, look at them lines, look at them lines, them lines not straight. I told you to cut straight. I'm telling you. You got a whole generation that don't know nothing, Abel. They don't know nothing, man. They don't even know how to change a tire. You ride cars and don't even know how to change a tire. Well, let me call AAA. I got roadside assistance. It's the truth. It's the truth. It sounds funny. Are y'all with me? Listen to me. It sounds hilarious and funny, but we have been going in life and taking things for granted. Are y'all with me? Teach your little young girls, you that are mothers, how to keep themselves and wash themselves. Teach the young men, the young boys, how to be respectful to women. Because if he ever gets a wife, listen, hold up, we clap. Because if he ever gets a wife, the way he treats you, he's going to treat his wife. How they treat, how they honor their father, is how they're going to honor you. Let me keep on going. Enemy, the enemies of Judah had cursed the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. But yet God still wants to use them to punish Judah. Rebecca the prophet has a problem with it. And he presents his case to God. And he get on social media and presents his case to social media. He didn't go live. <laughs> he goes to God. Mm, stop going to people that can't give you an answer. Stop asking people questions that never can give you an answer. Rebecca tells God, my problem is not that Judah does not need to be corrected. That's not my problem. That's what the prophet said. He said, my problem is not that Judah needs to be corrected. He said, because um, they did or they have turned their back on you. But why do you have to use the wicked to correct the righteous? <laughs> Using the wicked to correct the righteous. See, last week I was going to preach from Rebecca 1 and this bring you to Rebecca 2 today. And I was going to talk about, amen, the wrong tool to correct the right problem. That's what I was going to talk about last week. But y'all got carried on so bad I couldn't talk, so I just skipped on to Rebecca 2. But he, he uses the wicked he, to correct the righteous. Now remember, these same people curse you, God. That's why Rebecca, listen, Rebecca said, listen, they curse you, God. And now you're going to use them to punish those that you blessed. So you're going to use the wicked to correct me. You need to tell the people of God that sometimes God will use your enemy as a tool of correction. Y'all don't like that. He will use your enemies as a tool of correction. Sometimes God will use the very thing that has worked against you mm -hmm, to get you back in alignment. 
with the will of God. And sometimes God will use and allow the devil to do it just to discipline you. Not to kill you. Not to destroy you. Not to embarrass you or shame you. But it's simply to line you back up with his will. Yes, sir. That's good. We don't like the tool he uses. That is the truth, We don't like the tool that God uses to correct the right people. Let me talk for a minute. Y'all done shouted long enough. I need to put this in. Hmm. Because it makes me think. The Charles, why would God why would it use a crisis or chaos yeah. to align us with his will and his standard? Perhaps. 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 Oh, the thing that God will allow to happen to us, to get us back in alignment, does not work for us. Yeah. So he says, I got to use something yeah. that you least suspect. He's allowed the devil to show up yeah. and to show off. Look at Job. Right. Well, Job, mind his business. Yeah. Right. Okay. Satan showed up amongst the sons of God. Uh -huh. yeah. Satan never brought up Job's name. God did. Read it, read it, read it, read it. God said, have you considered my servant? Job. God was bragging on him. Y'all quiet. Bragging on him. My servant, Job. God said that, and look, watch this. Isn't it amazing, uh, people of God, that how God recommended Job to the enemy? I recommended Job to the enemy. God told Satan, listen, you can touch what he has, but don't touch his soul. You can touch his body, touch his cattle, touch his home, but you can't kill him. His soul belonged to me. Need it for You. Sometimes God will use the enemy just to bring you out of for a greater purpose. You don't like it, the tool, but he's doing it for his glory. And what I like about God is that he always reminds us, you still mine, but I still got the correction. your faults, struggles, trials and tribulations, I died for all of that. What you need to understand is that the enemy, just like a dog on a chain, you got a lot of bark, even got a grab. But he cannot do nothing because the Holy Ghost got him on a chain. God tells Satan, you can touch everything you got, but you can't touch your soul. It's called territorial authority. Look on the other side of you and say that's called territorial authority. That, 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 that's when God draws a line in the sand. Satan, you can't cross this line. Okay, rule of a shot, yeah. Yeah, the tell who want to hear this? God has already drawn on a line in the sand on your behalf. Satan is trying everything he can to destroy you, but he sees that line. And he cannot cross the line. Now Habakkuk has realized God has allowed the enemies as a tool to punish them because of their sin. Now so in 
Habakkuk 1, Habakkuk having a conversation with God, God never responds. Read it in your leisure time. But when you flip over to chapter 2, back up uh, in verse 2, look at the acorns. Says, I'm the Lord. Not yet, I pray. Answer me. Now, he's been silent all this time. Chapter 1, he's been quiet. I gave him my plea. And he never responded. What do you do when the God you serve is silent? What do you do when the God you serve ain't saying nothing? What do you do when you're going through your worst time and God sees it and still does nothing? Rebecca, having mm -hmm, to receive a vision. In other words, God has spoken to him through a vision. It was a question and an answer moment between Habakkuk and God. God said, Habakkuk, and the Lord answered me and said, right, 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 right the vision. Not only that, make it plain upon the tablets that he may run of a whole shot for the vision yeah, is yet for an appointed time but good God at the end it shall shall speak So crime, all the 
salvation. But it's going to work out on your behalf. Yeah. Yeah. You thought it was working against you. It was really working on your behalf. It was really working to make you better. Really happy to know him real. Now you got a relationship with God. Lord, work on me. Lord, help me to trust you.
Ja, Watch this. I'm done. Here's the testimony. Nobody even knew Stan. You was in a dark place. You, you thought I had a demon. It wasn't no demon. I just was in a hole. I didn't have no demon, Dwayne. Who cutting them old sheet on? In that hole, it was dark. I still had to believe that I would get out of this hole. even see it. My, my faith had to be activated. Talk, talk Joseph, my own brothers, put me in the pit, lied to my father. Told my father some beasts eat me up. Took my coat, smothered it in blood. Cause they thought, do do we all see? That's what my favor lie. But I had vision without a coat. No more. Cause they put me. Ooh, the shots. They put me. The ones I ate with. The, 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 the ones I slept with, play kickball with. We went to school together in the same house. My brother. That's just an indication that guess what? People will turn on you. That's close with you. That serve with you. They took my coat. Because the, the coat was on me. But the vision was in me. The coat was on me. But the vision, yes, you can't kill what's in me. Yes, Tell somebody, who shot on Tell somebody, you can't kill what's in me. In order for you to kill it, you got, watch this, you gotta go through God. And you can't go through God. So in order to get to me, you gotta go through God. Cause he gotta give you permission. So you can go through God. So you can't kill, I'm done. What's in me? Remember that song that says I'm running for my life? Anybody ask you, what's the matter with me? Tell them I'm what? And you're what? You're what? And what? And what else? I got who? On what? What you doing? Run. Run. Run with it. Run with it. Run. Run. I need about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
your hands and praise him. Come on, clap your hands and praise him. It is well, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Clap your hands and praise him. Clap your hands and thank the Lord. God bless you. Let's do this. You're going to be all right. All right? I'm never going to tell you you're going to get over it because you won't. But you're going to get strength. You're going to get strength. He knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes cannot see, I won't complain. Let's do this. I want to do this very quickly. I know what I heard. Oh, softly. What I, I know what I heard. Come on, find it your team. Let's do this very quickly. I want everybody to get $50 for our general offering. I'm giving. I need. I'm going to push it today. Come on, I need 30 of you. 29. Come on, $50, $50 real quickly. Come on. Shanda Bakota, the little of a bow shy. Emo, my show me, Korasha. Kondo Kosha, Rotaba. Kotaba Korasaba. Korate Vivia. Grande Bibiasa, Bato Raba, Maradibusa. Do me a favor, do me a favor, children. I want you to do music. I want you to clap your hands, open your mouths, and thank them without music. Come on. Do it with your hands. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want the I don't want the music to overpower you. Come on, everybody. Can you do me a favor? Clap your hands. I don't care who everybody in here. You that got loud voices, come on, open your mouth. Come on, come on. Pull down that stronghold. So that that spirit of grief will not follow you home. Come on. Send it to deep. Send it to dry. Go! Oh! Come on, Mama Mahoshaya. Come on, it's overwhelming. It will not overwhelm me. Come on, the little little Mahosha. Whoa! Baba Shanda, turn your soul. Come on, turn to the thank you. I hear it over here. I hear it over there. I hear it over there. Come on, you, this is important. Because so that this won't follow you home. It won't follow you to the car. Come on. He said, travail in here. That spirit wants to linger. Hey! Come on, come on. You did another level whole shot. I'm sorry if I'm sensitive. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Until it lit. It's trying to burden you. It's trying to walk. Look at me. Hey, shut up. When my intercessors come on. Boo! Shanda Baha Shaya. Shanda Baha Shaya. Come on, come on, come, 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 come. Shiva Baba Ho Shataba Uri Yosha Matoriva Shando Prabha Come on, come on. No tiredness, no tiredness. Come on, come on, you gotta push through here. There's a travail in here. Oh I know her warfare. Oh, 
It's an O. It's an O. Oh, 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 God. There you go. There it is. There it is. Oh, 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 o
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God today for everything that has happened so far in the service. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God. God, we thank you for all that you've done, God.